So essentially I was asked to come in here and make a large wall piece. So it's called the Guess You Had to Be Here. It's just based off of an inside joke uh, that's developed over the time we've been here. It's like a metaphysical diary plugged in through like a throwback cartoon language and patterns. I usually use graphite in my normal work, but doing something at this scale in this time frame, which is three weeks, is kind of impossible. So we use charcoal, it's cheap, and we get a lot of mileage out of it, and it's pretty easy to work with. As you can see from the footage, you know, I had this initial kind of idea that I put down, but about three days after that, I became unhappy with it, so decided to just take a completely different approach. That that's a really frustrating thing to feel when you're kind of in a high pressure situation, which I'd consider this because it's my first museum exhibition. Uh, so yeah, no, it was, it's kind of like, uh, you know, starting anew. A lot of people were nervous or just shocked that I did that, you know, put three, four days time into something and then essentially obliterated it. But I don't know, I like that. I mean, I've, the whole time I knew I would come out with something that I'd like, because that's, you know, I'm not going to stop working on it until I make something I like. But this essentially is more like a big experiment for me and just tackling something that's a completely different scale than I normally work in and different materials and having this kind of pressure scenario where I only have, you know, so much time to do this on top of all the other things we have going on here. So after the exhibition, uh, it will get rolled up in a massive tube and uh, who knows after that. It could get, you know, it'll get sent back to Chicago, I'm guessing, but who knows if we'll show it or I may rework it again as I'm prone to do. Uh, so yeah, we'll see.